exclusive, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are pictured for the first time in L.A. delivering food packages during lockdown to a non-profit in masks and gloves after Duchess wanted her husband to see the city through the eyes of philanthropy. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been pictured in Los Angeles for the first time, DailyMail.com can exclusively show. The Duke and Duchess were seen delivering food packages on behalf of the Los Angeles-based non-profit project Angel Food on Wednesday. Harry and Meghan were captured on surveillance cameras arriving at the Sierra Bonita Community Apartments in West Hollywood in their SUV at 10.55 a.m. A security team accompanied the couple in a car closely behind but they opted to walk up to the apartment to deliver the food alone. Dressed casually in jeans, Harry and Meghan both followed by California's new rules regarding face coverings, issued by Governor Gavin Newsom on April 15. While Harry elected to cover his face with a blue bandana, Meghan sported what appeared to be a white surgical mask. The couple also both wore a single glove on their right hand. Meghan and Harry spent two days volunteering with the non-profit this week, who cook and deliver meals to people with critical illness who are at a greater risk amid the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. None of the charity's clients knew the Duke and Duchess were going to be delivering the food, nor had any been forewarned about their rival. One stunned recipient of the royal delivery was Dante R. 53 who admitted he didn't recognize the couple when he first opened the door of his West Hollywood apartment. My phone rang and a lady said, Hi this is Megan from Project Angel Food. Tyrell, who has HIV and issues with high blood pressure, told DailyMail.com. I said, Oh, do you want to meet me downstairs, I didn't realize it was the Megan at this point. Tyrell said he was startled when he walked down the building's external staircase and spotted two blackout SUVs on the road outside. I knew there was something going on, he remarked. As he approached the front door, Tyrell said he spotted a man with red hair who looked familiar. Then I looked at Megan and put it all together, he said. I didn't let on, that I knew who they were, I didn't want to make them uncomfortable or anything. To have someone come and deliver the food is amazing. It makes us here feel that somebody cares outside. So for Harry and Meghan to do this is amazing. The Sussexes moved to LA from Vancouver Island, Canada, in late March amid speculation about who would foot the bill for the royal couple's security detail. It's unclear who funded the two SUVs that escorted the Duke and Duchess around Los Angeles on Wednesday, but the couple were warned by President Trump on March 30 that America certainly wouldn't be covering the cost. Project Angel Foods executive director Richard Aub told People the Sussexes kept a low profile throughout their voluntary work, adding the charity was completely honored to have them on board. They were extremely down-to-earth and genuinely interested in every single person they met, Aub continued. They engaged with our chefs, they engaged with clients, they just wanted to make sure that people felt the love and appreciation. Their goal was really to just honor our chefs and staffs and volunteers by being of service. What Meghan said is she wanted to show Harry Los Angeles through the eyes of philanthropy. It's just beautiful, Aob added. There's obviously a great deal of love and selflessness between them. They both are individuals who want to know about others. Our clients are clients who are often forgotten. They really wanted to go visit these people. They wanted to see them and talk to them and hopefully put a smile on their faces. Aalb said Megan had learned about Project Angel Food back when she previously lived in LA and was desperate to help out with their cause. She said she wanted to do something to give back on Easter and was talking to her mom, Doria Ragland, and her mom told her that Project Angel Food needs help and Megan said, Yes, brilliant, Aalb told people. They really wanted to ease the workload of our drivers because they deliver to between 50 and 60 people a day. Meghan and Harry took about six deliveries last Sunday and then they said, we want to do it again and we want more, so they took 14 deliveries on Wednesday. Before the couple set out on their delivery routes they first paid a visit to the charity's headquarters, where A. Alb gave them a tour. The charity director said both Meghan and Harry asked a number of questions, showing genuine interest in learning how the food is medically tailored for each client. 
Meghan and Harry also met with the non-profit's chefs before the royal couple were taken through the charity's social distancing protocols for the deliveries, requiring them to wear gloves and masks, while ensuring they stayed six feet away from any member of public. Speaking to ET Online earlier, Richard Aalb told how the couple contacted the charity after learning its drivers are overloaded needed more support as they try and feed people during quarantine. They told us they heard our drivers were overloaded and wanted to volunteer to lighten the driver's workload, Mr. Aalb said. Project Angel Food serves 1,600 meals a day, which will now rise to 2,000 during the coronavirus crisis, ensuring some of those most at risk are fed. It is thought to be the first charity publicly supported by Harry and Meghan since their move to California from Canada. The couple are now in quarantine with their son Archie Mountbatten Windsor, who turns one next month. Yesterday it also emerged Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had donated £90,000 to British charity Feeding Britain to support efforts to keep vulnerable populations fed during lockdown. Harry also made a special video call to the UK-based charity Wealth Child this week, to shed a light on the families caring for seriously ill children through the pandemic. During the video chat, Harry said both he and Meghan are focusing on family time during isolation. There's a hell of a lot of positives that are happening at the same time and being able to have family time, so much family time, that you almost think, do I feel guilty for having so much family time? Harry said. You've got to celebrate those moments where you are just on the floor rolling around in hysterics. Inevitably, half an hour later, maybe a day later, there's going to be something that you have to deal with and there's no way you can run away from it. The couple announced they are launching a new charitable foundation named Archiewell this month. They said they look forward to getting started with the Archiewell Foundation, which will replace their Sussex Royal brand. The pair also have plans to include their own charity as well as a website, as part of their new venture.